Hello, my name is Mike Kosiba. I'm a member of the Mud Hole Instructional Staff, and I teach rod building classes both in person and online uh, virtual classes. I'm going to talk to you today about a real useful tool that's called the deflection board. And it's a combination of a way to support a rod, which would be a deflection tool, and then the associated graph that goes with it, the deflection graph. Uh, this graph is available in an eight foot length and also in a 10 foot length, which for you fly rod guys or uh, light surf guys or salmon steelhead guys, it can be very useful. So this is a way to characterize rods. You support the rod, you level the rod with the top of the chart, and then you hang weights on the rod and you can also do it with a blank. So I have a rod up there right now, but if I wanted to put a blank up there, I would be able to mount the blank. Doesn't have a handle on it, but because of the cam system here, I would be able to adjust those and get both of those level. At the tip of the rod, this is a finished rod, so it has a tip top on it. On this one, this has a support that's a piece of guide tubing that's got a, uh, a, a screw hook in the end of it and uh, it will hold on the rod when I, put, when I put a weight on there. Notice I'm wearing safety glasses. Anytime that you're gonna flex a rod using this tool, you should probably wear safety glasses. I have had on occasion where, you know, through user error, I've had a weight slip or something like that and I've launched a rod out of the handle and it's bounced around in the garage. So, so how would you use this tool? I'm gonna to give you three different ways, starting with what a beginner would do. If you've built one rod, um, the, the big question comes in, how do I select blanks? How do I select components to build other rods when I look through the catalogs? So for a beginner, this tool is really useful to put the rod up on here of all your existing rods and deflect it with some weight to be able to uh, characterize those rods. You'll figure out the action and the power of the rods that you have, and then you equate that to how those rods uh, meet your fishing requirements. So if you have a rod that's real good for a certain technique or a certain species, and another rod that's not quite as good, you'll be able to discern the differences using this. With the rod supported level, and by level, I can use a I can actually put a level right up here if you use a little torpedo level. So it's got a slot on the bottom of it. I can set it up there on the rod and make sure everything's level. Once it is, you hang a weight on the tip of the rod and the criteria is completely up to you. You decide what your, where you want the butt of the rod to be. Uh, do you want it to be at five? Do you want it to be at six? Do you want it to be at zero over here on the chart? And then you decide do I want to just always add the same amount of weight to this? I've got eight ounces hanging on here, and I just look and see how far does it deflect. Or do I say, I want to deflect it down to a certain place on the graph. So in this case, I've got, this, this would be um, 22 inches of deflection right here. By adding 12 ounces, I get it to deflect to 22. So if you characterize each one of your rods doing either one of these methods, you'll be able to identify what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and then you can work from that and look at catalogs and help select blanks. Mudhole has a set of criteria that if you follow, they can take your deflection data and relate it to all the Mudhole MHX and Mudhole CRB blanks to identify a blank that really matches up with an existing rod that you have. So that criteria is you set the butt of the rod at zero on this chart. You level the rod and then once you start adding weight, you measure the deflection at the tip. You measure the deflection eight inches from the tip, 16 inches from the tip, and 24 inches from the tip. You do this in increments of four ounces. So I put a four ounce weight on here. I measured the deflection right here at the tip. That is K. 
I come back eight inches up here, I measure this deflection, that is F. I come back up here and measure this deflection, that is D. And come back 24 inches, measure this deflection, that is B. I write those letters down. I add four more ounces to that and repeat the process. Measure the deflection here, 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 and here, and write those down. I repeat adding weight until I get to the bottom of the chart. If it takes more than 20 ounces, I don't really worry too much about it. Usually 20 ounces is gonna get you real close to the bottom or it's gonna take you off the bottom. At that point, when you have all of that data, you can contact Mudhole and based on, based on those deflection values that you got, they can go through a database that contains over 400 blanks in it, CRB blanks and MHX blanks, and identify two or three blanks that are gonna match up real closely with the particular rod that you're trying to match. So very, very useful tool, uh, especially if you can't get into a showroom to handle the blanks and, and put your hands on them before you buy them. The third thing that I wanna to talk to you about is for an advanced rod builder, I could put a blank up there instead of a rod and I could evaluate the effect of trimming this from the tip, trimming it from the butt, or extending it from the butt. Just by making those deflections and then moving this to, to evaluate changes in the butt, I move the rod further out or I move it further back to evaluate changes from the tip I'm, instead of hanging the weight right at the tip, I wanna hang the weight an inch back or maybe two inches back. So that really allows you to fine tune a blank to meet um, a customer's exact requirements as far as how they want that blank to flex. The rod that's up there is an old lama glass rod that's out of production. I consider it to be very good for saltwater speckled trout, which is uh, type of fishing that I like to do. But I can't get that blank anymore. So I went through and I did that deflection that I talked about, measuring the uh, deflection with four ounce weights and, um, and going through the increments of uh, measuring it at uh, various places back from the tip. And what I come up with you can see now I have a rod and I have a blank on there that have a very, very similar flex profile with the same amount of weight hanging out here on the end of them. So this blank is an MHX SJ842. It is very close to that lamb glass blank that I can't get anymore. So that is how, that is the practicality of using this system is that I can take an existing rod and I can find out exactly what blank I need to purchase to come up with a match for that rod.